Good morning. Glad you're here to worship with us today. I'm Terry Goodman, the pastor here at the church, and I want to welcome each of you to our worship service today. I want to call your attention to uh, our order of worship this morning in the bulletin. Uh, if you look at that, there's not really any, uh, I think, meetings going on this week, but there are some things happening in the month of August I want to remind you about. One of them is our community block party, Saturday, August 30th from 4 to 8 p.m. Uh -huh. uh, there's an insert in your bulletin that talks about that. We we'll invite you to come and take part in that. If you are the, for the church members, we're asking you to bring in some canned soft drinks, and we'll also need some lettuce and tomatoes for that meal. Uh, on then the following day, on Sunday, August the 31st, we're having our church homecoming. Uh, that's going to be a potluck meal. We invite you to bring along some dishes for that meal and to join us. Reverend Jeff Wright, our district superintendent, will be preaching at that event, and so we hope that everyone will come and hear him and to celebrate with us. That's a good time to say to friends, you know, you used to come to church here. It's time to come back for homecoming this week. Uh, it's a place you want to be. So invite everybody back and let's have a great worship service on that day. Also, next Sunday, immediately following the church service, this isn't printed in the bulletin or anything, we will be uh, having a brief meeting of to plan last-minute things for the block party and for homecoming back in the wicker room. The thing I want you to pay attention to in the pastor's pondering is the pastor's thoughts on discipleship. Uh, got a phone call, or actually an email, from Amanda Vickers with the Kingsport Times News. And next Sunday, we are going to be the featured church in the faith and action section of the Southwest Virginia section of the Kingsport Times. It's a certain, they do a, uh, they, they do a church, I think she said once a month, and we are going to be in there with a nice article and some pictures and things. And so I encourage you, if you don't get that paper, let's go buy them out next Sunday uh, so that we can see um, uh, what's been said about the church and our ministries. So I encourage you to check that out next Sunday. And uh, is Kenny here? My amen corner's gone. I referenced him as my amen corner, but Bill, can I have an amen? amen. All right. Uh, you know, that's because that's something that, that you couldn't go out and, and buy. Uh, the Lord must be working, uh, and we must be doing something right for them just to call us out of the blue and say, we want to feature you. So uh, I gave them a good story and told them what we were up to and sent them lots of pictures, and we'll just see how it all works out next Sunday. Are there other announcements we need to make? Okay, Pat's got an announcement back here. Can we get a microphone to her? Okay, I think it's, he finally got it. View United Methodist Church in uh, Gate City or Weber City, whichever place it is. And uh, we're going to meet here at the church at 9 o'clock to carpool. So try to put that on your calendar. Registration begins at 9.30 and they are going to give us lunch. So please don't make me be the only one that goes. UMW, next Saturday, leaving here at 9 o'clock for a district meeting. Other announcements? Rick has good news. The good, the cousin's an ATV accident, wasn't it? A, a, a cousin's son uh, had a, a bad accident on ATV, and he is recovering and, and up and about and moving. We're not doing okay. We're not doing prayer concerns yet. If that's what you got your hand up for, okay, we'll hold off on those. What else? Are there other announcements we need to make? This week, the next coming up coming week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, is the last weekend of the Agile Drama. If you haven't seen it yet, you need to make it a point to go and see the show for this season because we had a very interesting uh, cast and I think they've done a great job. And you know, every year, you, every time you go, you say, well, I've seen that before. 
three more shows, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. Hope that you can make one of them. What else? Other announcements? Do you have an announcement, or what do you need to announce? Okay. Okay, we'll pray, we'll pray for your dad this morning when, when we do the prayers. Okay, we'll, we'll, do, we'll pray for the uh, Tipton family in prayers. Clifton family, sorry. Angie? Um, Microphone, please, Jake. Hello. Okay. Um, I received a phone call earlier this week from, um, it's called Lunchbox Ministries or something along those lines, and I know I sent it to you, and I wanted to kind of give you, give everybody a heads up on what it is. There are a lot of students um, in the school system, actually, tremendous amount more this year that will be receiving free and reduced lunch. Last year, Wise County was about 60% free and reduced lunch, and they're looking at possibly 80% this year. Um, and if you think about the free and reduced lunch, that means that those kids get one tray and what's on that tray and that's it. Well, I'm in a middle school and I can tell you that's not enough food for some of our kids. Um, and they are the, the very children who do not have the money to go back to the extras lines to get extra food. So a program somewhere out of Kentucky sponsored Wise Primary School last year and they provided enough funds for vouchers for students, and they, they wouldn't have a voucher every day, but some days they could go up and ask for extras and it would fund that. Now the public school system does not have the money to provide all that, and we, most people think that the school system makes money off of our school lunches, but we actually break completely dead even. Um, and sometimes we have to go into other pots of money to just provide the people to work the lunch lines. That is getting worse with the changes that have come because there's no, there are really very few sales on the extras line because we can't sell certain things that students used to buy. But anyways, having said all that, they are asking for churches to sponsor this program, and it's coming from Wise Baptist. That's the church that's starting it, but they do not feel comfortable just including Wise Primary School. They want all schools in the county, and they're asking for churches in every community to provide a $250 sponsorship per year um, toward this program, and they're asking huge corporations, they're asking individuals, they're asking anyone, and they're actually doing a, a ride, run, and relax um, fundraiser benefit the 30th of this month, and they're doing t-shirts, and if you sponsor on the back of the t-shirt, the church's name will be there, or whatever. Um, the only reason I'm saying that is we would need to know by the 20th if your name would go on the shirt. Otherwise, if you just want to provide any kind of funding to that, I'm sure we would accept it or take it at any time. But that's a program that I'd like to really get involved in and I'd like to see our church involved in. Okay. Sounds like something to talk about when we get the outreach team together. Yes. Phil? They give thousands of dollars away each year to community groups, churches, uh, civic clubs, the whole deal that do things for youngsters. The majority of people who get that are YMCA's and uh, Boys and Girls Clubs, things like that. But they will give you money if somebody can write that grant. And unfortunately, with the Speedway sitting in Bristol, very little of the money goes into Southwest Virginia and Upper East Tennessee because these other people know how to write the grants to get the money. So a lot of it goes to Knoxville, to Chattanooga, to Charlotte, different places. We need to get somebody that gets our name in the pot to help with programs like this, like the Backpack Ministry and all that. And it's wide open. I just don't know. But I do have access to a person that's responsible for that. And okay. uh, it's Betsy Pruitt Holloman who oversees that program. So we've got a chance to get involved if we can do it. Uh, Patty, you help me out. What are they doing in Cleveland, Tennessee? Mm, 
Okay. And, and Cleveland's well, much more prosperous than we are in this area. So, you know, how they got that. Yeah. Well, let's get that name and I'll uh, hang on to it and see if there's somebody that has that ability. What else do we need to announce this morning? Ben, or Roddy down here has an announcement. I just wanted to mention that Ben's Lonesome Pine Hospital, and he's doing well now. Uh, I'm trying to hold him down for a while, which is not easy, but I will give a plug for Lonesome Pine Hospital because they were very efficient, uh, very helpful, and, and very kind. So uh, okay. anyway, I, it's just a word for that. We'll give a word for Terry because he was right there. Well, thank you. Yeah, I see Scotty. And summer is over. School's in session. We hope to see you every week now. 